Good morning, welcome back. It is Tuesday, hope you're doing well. As you see by our thumbnail and our description, we're going to do a set review. But before we do that, I want to show you something cool Miss Octane made for me the other day. Uh, she's always making things for me to put up here in the room, the studio, quote unquote, whatever you want to call it. But this uh, little thing has a little racetrack on it, little cars all over the place. So we got kind of like the NASCAR style, got a coupe over here, got a kind of an Indy car and a Formula One, checkered flags there in the center, high octane cards. We are living it big over here, getting all the cool signage. So as always, thank you to her. I love you. Appreciate all the little things you make for me along the way and the fact that you support this crazy little hobby, habit, whatever you want to call it that I do. So uh, we can continue to just have a little fun over here. <clears throat> so we'll have to find a place to hang that up in here. The walls are getting smaller. The floors are getting smaller. Everything's getting smaller. So we might have to have a sale later this year. But anyway, uh, back to our set review. You seen by the title. You seen by the description. 1992 Max Gargoyles All Pro Team. Now I picked this up recently is a set that Danny had sold to me. Go over and check out his channel, Danny and Gray's Cards and Toys. They got a lot of cool stuff going on over there as well. Hopefully we'll be uh, breaking some cards over there this week, or he will be breaking them. So uh, keep an eye out on that. But he uh, offered me up some cards for sale, oh, what, about a month or two ago. So, <clears throat> and, and, and you've seen the lot on the one video. So I've just slowly been kind of going through some of these. This is the first one that I've done, because we've had a lot going on. So we'll go ahead and rip into this so we can see the packaging a little bit better. Of course, in the early 90s, Max was producing various sets. In 91 and 92, they had the update sets, which was correcting cards that they'd made errors in, as well as updating drivers, kind of like the baseball teams would. You know, if you had a... A player, when the set was released, the flagship set was released, if they played for the Phillies, then they got traded mid-year to the Oakland A's, then all of a sudden they have a traded card in the set, or if there was a rookie that started before the season, or after the season begins, sometimes like Ken Griffey Jr. is a good example where they put him in there in the Topps traded set in 89. Well, same thing with racing. Sometimes drivers change rides, sometimes they get new sponsors, whatever, so they update those, and that's what the update sets were. Well, this is one of these sets that they were producing. The, the racing cards were just starting to get big at the time, getting into the market. So Max pre pre produced this all-pro team set, 50 cards. There's the checklist on the back, but we're not going to spend any time on that because we'll lose time getting to show you these cards. So there's our cover card, Winston Cup all-pro team Again, it's a checklist card, and we're not going to spend time on that because we're going to see each and every one of these cards. Dale Inman, are these, how are these numbered? Larry Mack, so these are kind of hodgepodge in there. So they didn't put these in order, so that's something we'll have to do later. But we got Dale Inman, and we'll show you the backs of this one. That just shows you a little bit about... Uh, says Mike Rich Memorial. If you don't know who Mike Rich is, he's a crew member on Bill Elliott's car that was killed in the season finale in 1990. But we'll kind of, we're not going to rapid fire through these, but we'll spend a little time on some of the bigger ones. And I like this design. I've never seen these before. All pro second team. They had a first team, second team, and a third team. Leo Jackson for crew chief for Harry Gant. Wayne Dalton, all pro second team. Fabricator. It looks like he's with I can't see what that says. Junior Johnson's team. Charlie Presley, he was definitely on Harry Gant's team. Skull Bandit. Jack Mann, brother of Robert Presley. Devin Barbie, assistant engine builder. So this was back when they had lots of awards for lots of different people. David Little. Looks like he's part of Rusty's team. There is a little bit, and I see what they're doing. The first the first team is gold, second team silver, and the third team's bronze. So I like that part of it, too. That's a very, very nice optic. There's just a little bit of sticking here. David Smith, former Jack Mann and later crew chief for Dale Earnhardt. Sadly, he has passed away. Some of these people may not know if they've passed away or not. Eddie Lanier, engine builder for Dale Earnhardt. Uh, Troy Martin, 
third team, fabricator for Mark Martin's team, Ronnie Ronnie Revis, part of BNR Engines. I believe Kenny Bingham was the B part. He is the R part. Uh, Gary Brooks, Larry Wallace. I believe he eventually became a crew chief for Travis Carter's team. Andy Petrie, no introduction needed there. He became a two-time championship crew chief. Bobby Moody, worked with a lot of Earnhardt crewmen on here. Danny Myers, because they had a strong team. Dan Ford, I believe he eventually would become a crew chief. Slick Poston, worked for Hendrick for a long time. Glenn Bobo, he was a body man for Bobby Allison's team. Norman Koshimishu. He worked with Rusty's team for a long time, then went over to Robert Yates Racing there. Gas Man. I believe he's also the truck driver, maybe. Will Lind. Uh, David David Minari. I'm not familiar with him. And Daryl Dunn. Again, some of these guys don't ring a bell with me. Henry Benfield, legendary Gas Man for Junior Johnson. Harold Stott. Harry Gant, well, he's second team because in 91 he had four wins in a row late in the season. There's Norman Koshimishu again as the truck driver, so he got two appearances. Doug Richard, uh, what's that say, front tire changer, he's pretty good at that. Paul Andrews, Alan Koike's championship winning crew chief in 1992. Dan Ford, once again, is a general mechanic, all-pro first team. Gail Wilson, truck driver. He won that award many, many times. Kirk Shelmerdine, front tire changer, first team. Mark Martin, driver, third team. Jerry Schweitz, what is he, a truck driver for uh, Rusty Wallace. Or no, I'm sorry, Ken Schrader, Hendrick Motorsports. Mike Hill. Longtime Junior Johnson employee, as was Tim Brewer. There he is, the man in black, first team, Dale Earnhardt. And that is card number one of that set. It's a nice looking card. Kirk Shelmerdine, crew chief, second team. Uh, Abby Garwood, not familiar. Machinist, looks like with Junior Johnson's team. Daryl Andrews. Junior Johnson's team, Mike Thomas, Will Lind, James Luter, he was a machinist, Scott Robinette, Tony Glover, crew chief, he was crew chief for Ernie Irvin then, Mark Osborne, machinist, third team, looks like we got a couple more cards, we're going to call this one a day, Shorty Edwards, another Junior Johnson, Junior Johnson's team was stacked. I'm thinking he was with Junior Johnson's team. We'll, we'll see what it says. Yep, Junior Johnson. Uh, Todd Parrott eventually became a championship winning crew chief. And our last card, we've seen that when we flipped the deck over at the beginning. Larry Mack, all pro first team. So that's a pretty solid deck of cards, or, or set. I shouldn't call it a deck of cards. It's not a playing card deck. But lots of uh, Hall of Famers in there and lots of Hall of Fame potential in there between uh, not only the driver that's not in there, Harry Gant, but also some of the other folks like Larry Mack, um, some of the other folks, uh, names escape me, Doug Reichert, he should get in. He's got a championship as a crew chief, youngest one ever, 20 years old in 1980. But very, very nice set. Again, this was a purchase that I got from Danny over at Danny and Grace Cards and Toys. So thank you for the opportunity to pick this up. I might have seen a couple of these cards here and there, but I've never had an opportunity to look through the set. And definitely some uh, TTM material in there. But I'm going to put this off to the side here. Really, really do appreciate everyone watching. We have uh, reached the end of the show. Make sure you come back at noon for Fast Packs. We'll be ripping a pack of 1990 Donners from the second, or I'm sorry, the third printing. So we'll see you at noon, and enjoy the rest of your Tuesday.